Hello and welcome to this tutorial in which I'd like to show you how to make this scribble fill effect for text in Motion 5. Um, let's step out of full screen and have a look what's going on here. I've got a text layer that I can edit and you'll see that that's automatically filled with those scribbles. Let's undo that, go back to scribble. Uh, right, let's start from scratch. I'm going to delete all of those layers and these lines as well. Uh, and all I've got now is a text layer on top of my paper background. First of all, let's go about making a scroll. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn off my text just to see what's going on. And I'm going to draw using the line tool. Bring up the HUD. Um, I've set the line color to black and the width about 8, probably let's try 10. And I'm just going to draw a small angled line. So what am I going to do to make that line into a scribble? I'm going to come to the library and I'm going to come to my shape behaviors and I'm going to add a wriggle shape. And you'll see that that line is wriggling about not quite what we want just yet. Um, first of all, what we need to do is to come to the line geometry and set it to Bezier. And we'll come back to the wriggle shape behavior and set the apply to to points and tangents. And now you'll see that it's using the Bezier line to create a much more interesting shape. Um, I want to turn that to add and subtract. I'm going to turn down the amount to about 10. And I'm going to increase the noise all the way up. So now we've got an interesting looking squiggly line. So I'm going to take that line and I'm going to make a replicator. I'm going to hit L to create a replicator. And just for tidiness sake, let's drag that replicator out and make a new group. And we'll call that replicators, because there's going to be more than one. We'll select the replicator and we'll change the fill arrangement to a random fill. And then we'll come to the adjust item tool and we'll drag that out. So it's more or less the width of the screen and then we're going to go and increase the number of points like so till we get a greater spread of lines uh, and now I'm going to apply an image mask to that replicator layer uh, and I'm going to do that by right clicking add image mask and I'm going to use that text scribble drag it to the image mask well uh, and now you'll see we've got the beginnings of that scribble effect. We could at this point just in simply increase the number of points to get a better fill, but I'm going to uh, leave that at about 200. And I'm actually going to make a duplicate of that original line to add to that replicator. I'm going to call that line two and this one line one. And then I'm going to drag line two onto the replicator and as you'll see it's added a new cell. I've got line one and line two so I've got a replicator with two separate cells in it. I'm going to come to line two and it's transform and just tweak it a bit so it's different from my first line. So I've done a little bit of rotation a little bit of vertical scale and that is already starting to look really not too bad. Um, what I might do is come to my line and add a little bit of angle randomness to that uh, and the same to the second line so it's in all just a little bit more organic. Now I want my scribbles to come outside the line of the text just a little bit so they don't look so neatly chopped off and it looks like we're scribbling 
in and out of that main outline. And in order to do that, I'm going to duplicate this replicator. Let's call that one replicator base. And then I'm going to right click and duplicate and call this one replicator edge. And now I'm going to do something clever with my text. Let's turn off the replicators so we can see exactly what that text looks like. Um, white text with a black outline, and there's a reason for that. Um, I'm going to use the white luminance value as the image mask for my base layer, and then the overall alpha, in other words, the overall outside shape, as the cutout for my edge. So I'll leave this image mask here set to alpha, but this image mask in the middle, I'm going to change that to the source channel to luminance. And let's turn this back on and turn my text off. Uh, we can't see anything different at the moment because obviously this replicator is exactly the same as the, uh, the inside one. But if I hit the random seed, replicate seed, uh, generator, you'll see that now I have a different outline. I want to adjust uh, these so that even those extreme edges are a little bit more pan drawn. And I think I'll do that by just decreasing the height of the lines a bit more. Uh, line one, line two can come right down. So I start to see the edges of where it's been drawn. There we go. I think I've got too many, um, I've got too much duplication because obviously I've got the two replicators overlaying each other. So I'm going to re reduce the amount of inside scribbles like that, 150, and probably reduce the, the outside as well. 175. There we go. I mean, obviously, you can start playing around with those values and um, get something a little bit more to your taste, but it's shown you the principle of the idea. I'm just going to turn the level of that replicator's group down, just get it to look a little bit more like it's on the paper. Turn the opacity down to 95. And finally, to get a little bit more roughness to it, a little bit more organic movement. I'm going to take my replicators layer and I'm going to apply a filter to it. And the filter I'm going to apply, if I type here, is underwater, underwater filter. Drag that to that replicators layer and oh, that's not looking good at all. Um, but it will in a second. Let me turn the refraction right down to maybe about five. And you'll see that we've got a little bit of just random movement in there that I think helps to sell it a little bit more. Let's come to the text layer and I'm going to very slightly blur the outline. I think that helps a bit. Maybe even blur the face. So there you go. That's how to make a scribble in Motion 5. Hope that's been interesting. Thanks very much for watching.